I know guys, I know. Today, the market is red and filled with the blood of the weak handed. Bitcoin is down today back to the 30K ranges and it's pulling the entire market with it as you guys can see here. So today we're gonna go ahead and look over some of the altcoins that are currently at a discount today to see where they can possibly be going next with a price analysis on the top five altcoins that you guys, the viewers, requested. Stay tuned, let's jump in. Hey, what's up? Jay here and welcome to Bitcoin Daily, bringing you guys the best tips, tutorials and ideas to help you guys become profitable and successful traders. If you're new here, the goal of this channel is to empower you guys with the resources and the knowledge to take you up to that next level. So guys, make sure to subscribe, like, share and turn on that notification bell so that when we put out these type of uh, trade setups for you guys and price analysis, you guys are right there, ready to go. So the first thing that we're looking over really quick, we're not gonna spend too much time on it, but it's on Bitcoin. This is an altcoin video, so I don't wanna spend too much time on Bitcoin, but currently what we're looking at, as you guys can see, we're back on this 61.8% Fibonacci zone, which is also the golden ratio. And as you guys can see, it has bounced here plenty of times, right? Look at all this, guys. It has, we've got a lot, a lot of bounces here in this same exact area. So other than that, we're still in this channel that we spoke about on Monday. We're still just trading within this channel. We were at the top here, I believe, on Monday when we spoke about it. And now we're heading towards the bottom of the channel. So the bottom of the channel is going to be at this next Fibonacci level right here which is a right around that 27,000 area so if we continue down in this channel the way it's currently going that is the possibility of where it can go you know we can expect like i told you guys we're setting up lower lows lower highs so that's currently what's been going on here as you guys can see so the next lower low would be down here right however we are in a very strong support and you can look here this is basically a triple bottom right here which is a bullish sign but we do need to break out of this current range we need to bounce up and break up above this we need to break up above 35k and then up above 35k might take us right back to 40k and possible possibly new all-time highs all right so let's go ahead and now take a look at ethereum as you guys can see here, we posted a new all time high a couple days ago, a few days ago. And since then, we've been going downwards. Now, the reason we've been going down is not because of Ethereum itself, but it's because uh, Bitcoin is pulling the entire market down with it. But as you guys can see here, and as we spoke about on Monday's video, we told you that that we expect Ethereum to be stronger and we expect to post a higher low as you guys can see here we had the low then we had a higher low and this is another higher low so um that's what we expected we spoke about it on monday we we didn't expect drop to below 30k to take it down here like last time but we expect it to hold around that 1200 range and look at that guys look at that look at that call exactly to 1200 right before we got that bounce bounced back up to 1313 and now Bitcoin's pushing it down again. So, you know, the entries that we're probably looking at would be around that 1200 range. If we see a bounce, if we're not seeing a bounce and we're not taking, we're not looking to take that. Right. But yeah, that's pretty much it right here. I'm still very bullish on Ethereum. Um, I believe we will make new highs as soon as Bitcoin stops playing around and stops pulling the entire market down with it. It's gonna take a little bit, but um, I'm bullish on Ethereum. I expect new all-time highs very soon. And as long as we're we're holding this 1200 zone, I'm very happy and very bullish on it. I'm happy to take entries there at that 1200 range. Next, let's go ahead and take a look at Polkadot. It's been requested by everybody so many times, right? All right, so on Polkadot, this looks familiar, doesn't it? This is the daily chart. 
look at this move right here last time guys so we had that pattern right and what happened there boom we took off and i believe that we made a video on this exact pattern and our trade setup was that breakout trade so hopefully you guys took that trade that was about two weeks ago or so something like that today guess what guys boom 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 right so we have basically the same pattern that happened here is happening again so what does that mean that means a breakout guys eventually this is a bull flag right so we can expect a breakout to the upside you know sometime soon um right now obviously bitcoin is pulling down the entire market but when it stops doing that stops when it stops being a little girl about it you know we should see some good days ahead right all right so we had we had the same uh bull flag pattern down here and then we finally broke up and then now consolidation here and we can expect the same thing right kind of the same the same type of pattern here it's, it's gonna be another bull flag it's ranging between the that all-time high and the low of it is probably right around here where it's currently at around that 15 dollars range the high is just under 20 dollars right so where do you buy here so i would say you buy at the bottom of the range right where it's currently at so that's that 15 dollar mark that's kind of the bottom of the range or you would be buying you'll be looking to buy a breakout probably above 20 dollars. so that that's the two areas that i'm looking at right either the bottom of the range currently at at it now so that when it bounces back up you're in it right so I, i'm looking to buy here currently where it's at 15 dollar mark that's that's where i'm looking to buy uh you could have stop losses below the, these lows within this range so the low the lows are these candles here and this candle here right because below that if we were to drop below this is the, it's a possibility to drop back down to this ten dollar range right so you don't want to be in that drop so i would buy here at the 15 dollar mark and i'd be writing this up to the top up here and then be looking to take profits around there and then taking a breakout trade above 20 dollars that's what I'm looking at in Polkadot. Guys, if you're enjoying this video so far, make sure to subscribe, hit that like button, and turn on the notification bell so that you guys are notified as soon as we post these videos so that you're not missing out on these profits, especially during discount days like this, right? Next, we're covering price analysis on ADA Cardano, Chainlink, and of course, XRP. Let's dive right in, guys. All right, let's take a look at Cardano ADA. As you guys can see here, right? This is last time, this is from last time's analysis when we looked at this. We told you guys it was a bull flag and the breakout was up here. So we're looking to take a breakout and entry above, you know, on this breakout and boom, it broke out just as we said. Broke out all the way from the 30s to about the 40s, right? It's about a 10 cent breakout. And then now it's been just kind of chopping around a little bit consolidating back it's it's gone back to like the top of this range where the breakout first occurred so it's right around this 30 cent range right and it kind of looks like another small little mini bull flag it's not as as big as wide as this one but it's still you know somewhat of a bull flag the only time that it went under this range was when bitcoin pulled it down so i'm expecting basically the same thing i'd be fine buying here at the 30 cent range and selling towards the top of this right you want to be taking profits probably close to this 35 cent range because that's kind of going to kind of be the top of this and then you'd be looking for a breakout buy probably above 38 cents but you have to be ready for a resistance up at 40 cents so maybe another taking profits there and then buying again above 40 cents that is what i'd be looking at in cardano chain link right now as you guys can see we broke out and posted some new highs so as you guys can see here on the daily i believe we spoke about this bull flag here we had the breakout another bull flag right boom another breakout and then the, the breakout got stopped kind of short due to bitcoin pulling the market down let's zoom into the four hour so we're currently testing the top of the what was previously a resistance which was where we broke out 
and it's currently a support now. So we're currently retesting that little zone there. I'm expecting to see basically I'm expecting to see a test here. If Bitcoin decides to bounce, we should see a bounce back to these highs and possibly a new all time high. So the entry right now would probably be that $20 range, right? All right, I had to fix the Fibonacci retracement levels here. But as you guys can see here, we're basically right at this 38.2% level uh, where we've seen a bounce here. And then we're so we're, we're currently trying to break above this next fib level, which will take us definitely to the previous highs, right? So currently here at that $20 mark is a good spot to enter having a stop probably below. I would have it built right below 20. That first place to take profits probably going to be around that 22 mark. And then I'd be looking at 25 and beyond for that next entry, right? So you could take entries either here at $20 or you could wait for the break of this area right here, which you've seen there's a lot of volatility. There's a, there's a lot of price action there and it's also the Fibonacci level. So that's that's the the breakout trade that I'd be looking for is right above $22. The support entry I'm looking at is here at $20 mark. All right, guys, so let's take a look at XRP. The last coin that we're going to look at. We've been getting so many questions about this. Obviously, right now they are dealing with a lawsuit. Um, they've been delisted or suspended from a lot of different exchanges, especially exchanges in the US, but um, they've also been delisted and or suspended in other exchanges outside of the US, which is what's led to this because there's a lot of FUD, right? There's a lot of fear, uncertainty and doubt for those of you that don't know what FUD means. So currently what we're seeing here is basically a falling wedge, right? So if, if you look here, you can see that we've just kind of been you know, in this falling wedge, nobody really knows what's going to happen. So it's just kind of been trending in this within this falling wedge. Now, the falling wedge is actually a bullish pattern. OK, it is a bullish pattern, as you guys can see here on the screen. A falling wedge usually ends up breaking out to the upside. Now, do I think that's what's going to happen? It's a scenario, it's a possibility, and it's what this uh, pattern usually leads to, right? Especially when we're in a bull market. So currently we're in a bull market. Uh, as you can see, we're, we're basically in the oversold ter territory on the four hour. Let's look at the daily. Dailies, we're at the bottom of the RSI. And on the weekly, we're right in the middle. So it's poised to, to run, right? Now, what has to lead to this breakout is more the question. And that might that's the thing is, it might not get solved until we get a little bit more clarity on what's going on with this case and what's going to happen. Right. So what I think is going to happen, I, I, I did a, a XRP versus SEC video on this topic. Right. And I said that what my opinion was is that the SEC, I don't think much is going to be done and I don't think they're going to have enough facts and evidence to prove to really prove anything where they can really take any huge action against XRP. So I, I think they're going to end up in a settlement, right? They, I don't think they'll be able to prove that XRP is a security or anything like that. So it'll end up in some sort of settlement where they might have to where XRP might have to burn tokens, right? So they might have to burn a percentage of their tokens that they're holding because they have. Remember, they have the majority of the share of XRP tokens are being held by Ripple itself. So if the results come in in some sort of settlement where XRP has to burn a majority of the tokens they are holding, then what's going to happen is scarcity, right? So what happens when something is scarce? The value goes up. So that's the scenario where I see where XRP could rocket beyond, I would say beyond previous all time highs where it could just take off and break that one dollar and just keep going. Um, but we don't know when that's going to happen. So it's kind of hard to tell if you're you're, you know, putting some money into XRP. You could just kind of you're, you're going to have to dollar cost average here because we don't know how low it might go before 
it you know something happens we get a little bit more clarity on it and it takes off right so that's kind of my breakdown right now on xrp that's what the charts are showing right now all we can do is wait and see that is pretty much it guys thank you guys for sticking around to the end of the video for those of you who did make sure to share this video with your friends and family as we continue to put out this knowledge for mass cryptocurrency adoption guys crypto is the future make sure to spread it and put it out there thank you guys again i will see you guys on tomorrow's video as always peace and love